The beautiful Melbourne is known for getting many, many things right. Being voted most livable city in the world five years running. But what we want to know is how does the Melbourne share bike system compare to others from around the world? By the end of 2014, bike sharing systems were available in 855 cities with a combined fleet of roughly one million bikes worldwide. To help us find out how Melbourne stacks up against the rest, Jess Keneally has enlisted the help of one very unique performer. He's a 34-year-old singer-songwriter from Malta and also a Catholic priest, Father Rob Galea. Thank you for joining it's us. Great to be here, thank you. Now, how does the rock star lifestyle mix with the priesthood? First and foremost, I'm a priest and I love being a priest, but I got to get on stage a few years back to okay. sing for the Pope and for half a million people. And then from there, that was a turning point in my life where now I get to do this pretty much full time and it's awesome. Nice. Well, that's a pressure situation, singing for the Pope. You're also an X Factor as well. That's right. Bit of pressure for that. How is that going to help you on the bikes today? Absolutely no, in no way or form, but I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy trying. I'm hoping I can transfer that energy onto the pedals today, yes. <laughs> well, we're in lovely Melbourne on South Bank for our share bike challenge. Pay attention because here's what you have to do. Step one. Our guest must first work out how to hire the bike in order to begin his ride. Step two. Once the bike is free of its restraints, our guest must ride safely along South Bank, correctly docking his bike at the end. Candy is waiting to debrief and find out how our guest rates their experience. So, you've heard what to do. Chair by challenge. Here is your card. Your time starts now. Okay. Go! Go! So over goes Rob with the card. Maybe the biggest challenge of the day is trying to get these bikes out of their restraints. He's hard at work. Trying to work out how he's going to get the bike loose and get on his journey here on this Melbourne Bike Share Challenge on South Bank. Looks like he might have it sussed. Trots around towards his machine. Here we go, sounding positive. Yes, out comes the helmet. The all-important lid. We can't do the ride without that. Clips it on. The start's imminent here, even has time to adjust the spectacles. And here we go. Rob is off in the Melbourne Bike Share Challenge down South Bank. Quite a difficult little challenge it is too. Lots of obstacles on his way here. You'll see some sculptures. Crown Plaza comes up early. There's no time to go for a punt for Father Rob. Look at all the traffic he's got to contend with here. No peloton in this little journey. OK, so here we go. We have to watch the dogs, watch the people. Oh, another bike. <laughs> many obstacles. Go on this side. Don't clean anybody up, sir. Safety's the key here. Yeah, OK, here we go. Must have got into a bit of free going, yes. Ooh, He's got a bit of clear. my legs. Shouldn't have done leg day today. Bad day to choose. Leg day. Very picturesque. Okay. He's got time to take in the views watch of the this babies, great city of Melbourne the on this journey. Dogs, watch the ladies and gentlemen. A couple of little choices there. Okay. Could have gone that left. Clear. Could have gone right. Here we go. Takes the narrow journey here to avoid the traffic. Good choice. Comes out the other side. Bit of free pavement in front of him. Even has time to smile to the locals. Should we obey? Should we not obey? My word, you should obey the traffic signals. And he has. Very good choice, Father. Just waiting on the green now. Didn't hold him up long at all, did it? Just has to make sure he doesn't crash into anybody as he makes his way across the journey here. And a couple of poles, some more obstacles. Little picturesque view here on his right hand side, I reckon, as he comes through too. Look at that. Plenty of people living around here with the uh, Enjoying it. Now he's on this dangerous little part of the course here. Don't want to end up over the rail there or in the drink. I can hear the bridge noise as the boards tick away underneath him. Here we go, this is drink either side. 
Points for the manners. Makes his way through. So far, so good. He's in the finale now. The Melbourne Bike Share Challenge is going well for Father Rob. He's looking good. He'll be looking for that lovely smiling face awaiting him at the end of Candy. She couldn't be too far away, I don't think. The journey's about to come to an end. So far, so good. Without a trouble in the world, he goes under. Comes out the other side. Bit of daylight and some beautiful viewing here of this great city of ours in Melbourne town. Oh, gee, I don't know. Hardly a breath of wind in the air. I can see him coming around the corner, making it in pretty impressive timing. He's going to bring it in, come straight in here, and we'll have a chat to him in a second. I wonder how he's going. So with all the obstacles averted, he's coming towards the finish, Father Rob. He comes in towards the restraints and makes it. Click it in. So your 30 minutes is done. Green light is on. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm just scared my hair's all messed up now. Oh, no. <laughs> we don't want your hair messed up. I'll give you an honest opinion. That's a bit. Still <laughs> looks perfect. Well done. Tell us how you went. The traffic at first it just seemed confusing and not driving on the road, but driving on the pedestrian. So I got a few looks. People wondering what I'm doing riding on bike. We're going to do a quick test with you. We're going to do a share bike question and find out, scale of one to five, exactly what you think of the share bikes. First question, how comfortable was it to ride the bike? I'd say riding comfort compared to a normal bike like that. So I'd say three and a half, almost four. And what about how easy it was to use it? Obviously, you had to first get it and then put it back in at the end. How did that go? I, I struggled to get the thing out. It's, <laughs> the receipt took long because first the receipt comes out and then the, the code. Yeah, it can be a bit confusing, I suppose, if it's the first time using, but very easy to use once you've used it the first time. So, scale of one to five? I'd say four again. A once, four? Yeah. All right, well, that's pretty good. I mean, the good news is once you use it once, you'll be so tempted to use it lots of times that, right. you know, figuring out how to use it is kind of all right. Now, do you have a hot tip for our next uh, contestant who's going to go on a share bike ride? Well, I'd say just to go slow at first, <laughs> because the, um, I nearly um, hit into a... <laughs> um, an oncoming bicycle on the way here. So just know which your port and starboard sign. I think it's the which side, left or right, you have to stay on. So yep. be conscious of that all the time. That's a pretty good tip. Thank you so much. Did you have a bit of fun today? I did, I did, and I loved it. Yeah, well, we had fun having you on the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you stick around. We've got heaps more coming up next.